Hi, um, I am here for our March songs. So I'm going to just start and um, introduce them. So I'll start with some of our Singing Circle songs. So one of our Singing Circle songs this month is this, which um, is sung to If You're Happy and You Know It. So we're working on shape identification, and all the children are given shapes. So um, before we start the song, I hand the child um, a shape, and I say, this is a triangle, this is a heart, this is a circle. Um, I got another one in here. What do I have? Um, triangle, heart, circle, and square. So I give each child a shape. And the song just goes like this. If you're holding a square and you know it, stand up. If you're holding a square and you know it, stand up. If there's a square in your hand, then it's time for you to stand. If you're holding a square and you know it, stand up. So then the child stands up with their square in their hand and they put it in my hand. Okay? I'm just going to sing the whole thing because I think your children will enjoy hearing the song. If you're holding a circle and you know it, stand up. If you're holding a circle and you know it, stand up. If there's a circle in your hand, then it's time for you to stand. If you're holding a circle and you know it, stand up. If you're holding a triangle and you know it, stand up. If you're holding a triangle and you know it, stand up. If there's a triangle in your hand, then it's time for you to stand. If you're holding a triangle and you know it, stand up. Last one. If you're holding a heart and you know it, stand up. If you're holding a heart and you know it, stand up. If there's a heart in your hand, then it's time for you to stand. If you're holding a heart and you know it, stand up. So that's our new shape song. So this is our Leprechaun Leprechaun song. I'll try to hold it this way. So um, this song, we're using, we're doing a couple things. We're doing some creative play with it. Um, and one child gets to pretend to be the leprechaun, and I'm going to put this on only because your children will enjoy it. So one child gets assigned to be the leprechaun, and that person hides gold all over our classroom, while the other children um, sing the song. And we sing it two ways. We sing it with the voice output device, which I won't play that also, but I'll just sing it to you. So this is the song. Um, and I'm going to sing it and pretend that there's a leprechaun hiding the gold. And all the children use a voice output device, and then we're working on signing it the second go-round. And then they all get to go up and they get to go find the gold all over the classroom. So it goes, leprechaun, leprechaun, where are you? I tried to catch you, but away you flew. I'm going to get you, just wait and see. Then all of your, oh, I messed up. Then all of your gold will belong to me. Leprechaun, leprechaun, where are you? I tried to catch you, but away you flew. So they do that, plus they take turns with the voice output device, and then they go get to catch all the gold that the leprechaun left in our classroom. So this song is working on answering questions. Um, we also are working on some signs, some question signs, um, and answering questions. So there's a question and an answer, a question and an answer, a question and an answer. So this is, do you know the Muffin Man? So do you know what a shamrock is? A shamrock is, a shamrock is. Do you know what a shamrock is? And then I'll call on a friend and they'll pull it off and they either through a voice output device or through their own um, vocalizations will say, a shamrock is a plant. Do you know where a shamrock is?
shamrock rose, a shamrock rose, a shamrock rose. Do you know where a shamrock grows? A shamrock grows in the ground. And so see, sorry, I'm not doing so hot today. A shamrock grows in the ground. Do you know what color shamrock is? A shamrock is, a shamrock is. Do you know what color shamrock is? And again, we have somebody come up. A shamrock is green. So this is Five Grand Speckled Frogs, and some of you might already know the song. But basically, what the children are working on is making certain sounds, so um, and also counting. So we have one, two, well actually I should count this way, one, two, three, four, five green and speckled frogs. So I'll sing the whole song, but I think some of you probably already have this. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Or for some sound, children that are working on stuff, mmm, mmm. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, and I have a child come up, and they jumped the frog into the pool. Now there are one, two, three, four green and speckled frogs. Glub. Glub. So that g sound comes from the back of your throat. You can go glub, glub. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Mmm, mmm, or yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are. One, two, three green and speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Mmm, mmm. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, two green and speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Mmm, mmm. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Mmm, mmm. One jumped into the pool. Where it was nice and cool, now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Okay. Now, um, all year long I've been doing open shut them to get their attention before singing circle. But um, this month, because we've been talking a lot about weather, I thought it'd be really fun to do, I think her name is, and now I can't remember the artist's name, I can send you guys it. Um, but uh, this, if all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, I think it was an originally a Barney song, but there's another artist who redid it, and I like her version better. Um, but basically on this song, this is my attention-getting song for our singing circle. This song, we're working on making particular sounds, controlling our mouth movement, so get it, being, being able to get our tongue out of our mouth, going, eh, 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 eh. Um, also, to learn the signs of the weather, um, it, that's something that we've been working on anyhow. So it goes like this. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, so that's another sound we'll work on. Oh, what a rain that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Eh. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. If 
fall of the snowflakes were chocolate bars and milkshakes. Oh, what a snow, snow that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. If all of the snowflakes were chocolate bars and milkshakes, oh, what a snow that would be. If all of the sunbeams were lemonade and ice cream, oh, what a sun that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. If all of the sunbeams were laminate and ice cream, oh, what a sun that would be. So you can see we're working on O, B, which you can also do B like this, but this is the actual sign for B. B, um, and eh, 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 eh. So really getting some of those sounds out. Okay, I think those are all our singing circle songs. Now our new morning meeting song, I wanted to show you guys this because we've been working on this song. So this song, we're working on following directions. We're working to identifying our, working on identifying our friends. Um, and basically our honeybees are back. So I have Matthew M here. So I might put him on the board. If he sees his picture on the board, then he is supposed to stand up. And then we sing, where's Matthew M? There, there, because he'd be dancing in front of me. Where's Matthew M? There, there. Where's Matthew M? There, there. And where's Matthew M? There, there is, oh no, we don't know what he is. Is he a boy or a girl? And at this point, we hope that our friends would know that he is a boy and not a girl. And then we'd have to find the right pronoun. So, is he, is he, has he? Is he up on the mountain? No, no. Is he down by the fountain? No, no. Has he gone out to play? No, no. I see my friends are here today. I see my friends are here today. And then Matthew puts himself, so this is the way we're taking attendance now, after he's done dancing for all of us, he puts himself back into my treasure chest, the same treasure chest we've been using for most of this year because children are human treasures. Let's keep our minds and bodies safe in the treasure chest. Sorry. So we're going to put Matthew M. puts his body in the treasure chest working on positional words. And then we might sing the attendance song for somebody else. So maybe Mabel would go up there. So if Mabel sees her picture, the first thing she would do is she would stand up in front and be ready to dance. And all of her friends would be working on finding Mabel. So they're pointing to Mabel within the trapezoid or within the circle outside. Where is Mabel? There, there. Where is Mabel? There, there. Where is Mabel? There, there. And where is Mabel? There, there. Is, oh no, Mabel is not a he. So we need to have the right pronouns again. Is she? Is she? Has she? Is she up on the mountain? No, no. Is she down by the fountain? No, no. Has she gone out to play? No, no. I see my friends are here today. I see my friends are here today. All right. Um, those are all, or most of the songs. We actually also have, we're doing Hickety Pickety Bumblebee again. Um, but we're doing it with bugs, so the kids, I'll do um, a few of them. So they're learning a new bug every day. We're passing around the bug book to our neighbors. So, um, hickety, pickety, bumblebee, won't you say this bug's name for me? Fly. Let's all say it. Fly. Let's clap it too. Fly. 
Now let's move to something new. Pickety pickety bumblebee. Won't you say this bug's name for me? Ant. Let's all say it. Ant. Let's clap it too. Ant. Now let's move to something new. So every day they're being introduced to a new bug, a new bug's name, and um, we'll just move through the book throughout the month. So it just gives them another opportunity for some phonemic um, awareness and education um, and being able to hear the separate sounds within a name. So we're not doing our own names anymore. We're learning some bugs, which is sort of seasonally appropriate. And the other thing is we've been working on the weather identification. So um, it's an easy song that we've been singing every day for morning meeting, and then the children usually get to catch whatever weather it is. Um, so real easy. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? And then I kind of joke around with them, but I, if it isn't rainy, this might be the first one I pull up. I go, oh, it's so rainy outside. No, it's so snowy outside. No, it's so cloudy outside. No, it's so, if today is, sunny. And then they say yes. And then we decide whether it's cold or hot. Um, so we might say it is hot and sunny today. So we would say it is hot and sunny. It is hot and sunny. Let's play outside. Let's play outside. Hot and sunny. Hot and sunny. Let's play outside. Let's play outside. So I think that's most of the songs for this month. I'm looking around my room. Um, I'm singing songs, of course, with our books again. So, so far, um, this month we've read our Very Quiet Cricket, and right now we're reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and Eric Carl books are very popular, um, so you probably, ha you probably have at least one of these at home. Uh, you can also look at our other books, but basically I just make up songs to them. So this month, um, with, uh, with The Very Quiet Cricket, Every time the cricket greets a bug and he tries to rub his wings together, um, I just sing this. He rubbed his wings together. He rubbed his wings together. He rubbed his wings together. Not a sound. Um, and also some of the kids while we were reading this book. So every time he greet, the praying mantis greets him, I read this part, but then I add a little song. It just keeps the children engaged for a little longer. So... He rubbed his wings together. He rubbed his wings together. He rubbed his wings together. Not a sound. Until the very end, which of course the children love. Um, as the Luna Moth disappeared silently into the, di into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket, and she too was a very quiet cricket. And he rubbed his wings together. He rubbed his wings together, he rubbed his wings together, and he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The children love this book, so if you don't have this book, this might be worth getting. Um, this week we're reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which has been great because we also introduced Monarch Caterpillar and Monarch Butterfly to our Hickety Pickety um, Bumblebee song. So in this one, the song that I added was um, when he starts eating through all the fruits. On Monday, he ate through one apple. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Hi-ho, the dairy -o. On Monday, he ate through one apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Hi-ho, the dairy -o. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. 
So I just, um, it's a really good way to keep the children engaged for story times, especially when you're reading to nine of them by adding music. Um, and we sing everything here. So um, that's what we've been doing. I think that sort of touches on um, most of the parts of our day, the songs that we're singing and the books that we're reading. And I hope this is helpful. And um, if you have any questions, if I went through it too fast, I have a lot of paperwork. If I went through it too fast, just send me um, an email with questions. Okay, thanks. Bye.